back to the FS1 with the bad clutch. I'm going to open this case and check out the mechanism that actually activates the clutch. <laughs> clutch mechanism the lever that actually this ball here pushes this pin which pushes the clutch plate that uh, releases pressure from the friction discs so the clutch get loose pulling the clutch lever activates this lever which should make the lever come forward but it's not actually moving all that much so I'm going to inspect it I think there is a way you can pull this lever out and rotate it and put it in at a different angle. I'm going to see if I can do that. I've removed the clutch cable and now if you pull this lever you can actually see it's it's going in and out. With this outward motion the rod from the clutch should be pushed removing the pressure from the clutch blades. So there are two ways you can mount this lever, which is like the position it was. And if you rotate it by approximately 180 degrees, you can you can rotate it in like this. But I think it already comes out here. I don't think if I don't think this is the right way. I'm not sure. I actually have a spare one of these. I'm going to check it. As I was inspecting the old with the new part you still actually have to mount these together i think you have to crush this tube so it looks like this but what i just realized is that this worm gear is cracked this is one piece this is cracked and actually i think i can move it slightly yeah i think i just moved it oh yeah here we go so I think this is my problem. Look. <laughs> so I'm going to look how to assemble these correct. And I think I'm going to try and use this one. I just placed the new one. Just loosely, it's still not mounted. In the cover. And as you can see, if I rotate this, it actually comes out like it should it moves up and down which the old one didn't really do and i think this is my problem so if i can uh, lower the pretension on the clutch so it doesn't slip anymore but with this new mechanism i have more leverage to actually open the clutch so i'm going to try to assemble this one and um yeah hope it works <laughs> I've smashed this one side here and it's already getting stuck I think this is what I want and also the ball that's in there is not falling out so I'm going to keep smashing it and hope it, hope it sticks It's definitely flat. <laughs> I 
It's not pretty, but it holds. I think this is what I'm going to work with. Yeah, this is not coming loose. Screw is in in the back. So if you not if you rotate it in, the ball comes up. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but this way the 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 push rod that's in the it's pushing the clutch plate, the clutch cover actually is against this ball. So by moving the ball in or out, you adjust the pretension on the clutch. When I install this in the cover, oh, on the right way, please. You can see this actually moves up and down. And this is what we want. So I'm going to reinstall this and hopefully adjust the clutch the right way. The cable is back on and you can see if we pull the clutch lever this actually goes in and out so I hope this will be better. I'm going to install it back on the bike, adjust the pretension with the screw here in the back and hopefully that fixes my stupid clutch. We've got some decent movement. This is actually already in pretty good tension. You can see the screw is going in. So that means this is activating the clutch. I just put it again, the ball against the rod. I'm going to tighten this and test it like this. So yeah, I'm going to tighten this nut and maybe go for a little test drive. Just back from the test drive. The clutch is actually pretty good now, but I don't know what the hell that was with the engine. I know I'm running really low on fuel, but for it to act like that, I don't know. I'm going to do a fuel stop and because I'm actually out here and um, maybe try again later.
<laughs> Fucking hell. It's wet. No spark. Or at least not a good one. Hey, that's a spark. Wat verdomme! Oh.